Hey guys, thank you for joining us for this toast. Uh, this is an awkward toast, but it's a toast nonetheless. After eight years of faithfully serving the Raleigh Police Department, today I was fired. Um, I was fired for simply owning a craft distillery. Three years ago, me and two of my friends ventured out to uh, create or to build Clayton, North Carolina's first legal distillery. Um, we are a veteran-owned and operated company, and for three years, we built this place from the ground up. Um, <clears throat> we let the department know, the police department know from the beginning what I was doing. Uh, matter of fact, some of my supervisors were even there to help bang nails. For that, I'm super thankful. Um, but about a week before the soft opening, I was pulled into an office, and I was told to resign or be terminated. Uh, this came as a huge blow. I did not see this coming at all. Uh, I asked um, what I was being terminated for, and they said, for owning a distillery. I asked to speak with the chief. That request was denied. Not knowing what to do and never having been fired or having to resign before, I asked other superior officers what I should do, and they guided me to the human resources office. At which point, they got me in touch with the deputy chief, who then opened up an internal affairs investigation against me. From that point forward, I was treated like a criminal uh, for the next remaining months that I was still an officer. When I got my life-saving award, I was told in front of my family by the media personnel there that they were not allowed to video or photograph me, that Hire had, had told them that they were not allowed to photograph or video uh, me getting that award. Um, you know, that was very embarrassing to have happen in front of your family and friends. Um, when my badge and my gun were taken away, uh, they had to retrieve those from my personal car. They looked around the inside of my car and the back seat of my car, which I thought was extremely disrespectful, extremely uncalled for. Um, remember, this is, there's no moral violation here. There's no ethical violation. There's no legal violation. This is simply, I own a distillery. Um, they, uh, they were very, very rude um, during the investigation. They were very um, discourteous towards me during that investigation. I was nothing but honest. I told them exactly what I was doing and what my capacity was as owner of Instill Distilling Company. Uh, today, when I was called into the office and fired, it really came as a shock and we're still trying to get through that. Uh, but this is a toast, as I said before, and it's going to still remain that way because Instill Distilling Company is still thriving and we're still gonna continue to thrive. But what we need from you guys right now is to please let us know that you're still with us. So raise a glass doesn't matter if it's in still or not. We hope it is, but it's okay if it's not. But raise that glass, take a picture, take a selfie, post it below and let us know that you're still with us. And also, let us know, do you think it's unbecoming of an officer to simply own a distillery? And do you think that rises to the level of firing somebody for simply owning a distillery in 2019? For all those at Instill that are still following us, thank you guys. Uh, this weekend, we will be uh, in Southern Pines for the Extortion 17 event, um, trying to raise money for the families of the men of the Extortion 17. So if you're in Southern Pines, please come by our table and say hi to us. Enjoy your cocktail there.